everybody, this is Gabe. Um, so today I wanted to make a video for you guys and I looked out my window and it was raining. And I promised myself that I was going to make you guys a video because I've been a tad bit late on making this summer update. Uh, there's a lot of changes in my garden. Um, I have another plant for you guys that I'm not sure what kind of pepper it is. Um, you guys helped me out with the last pepper plant over my first garden bed. Um, you guys all said it was a serrano pepper, and I thank you for that. So, um, yeah, I'll show you guys the other pepper plant that I have no idea what it is. I'm actually kind of thinking that it's a Thai pepper plant, but uh, you guys can judge for yourself. I'm not going to be the judge of that. So, uh, yeah, let's go take a look. So I was looking at my jalapeno plant right here, and uh, as you can see right here, <laughs> we got a conjoined twin. It's actually two peppers on one little stem right here. I thought that was kind of cool. I just actually found this. Um, there's all sorts of weird things you'll find in your garden if you look at it enough. Here's one of the peppers I wanted to show you guys um, off the plant that I have no idea what it is. Um, they they grow kind of really, uh, really small and skinny but they don't look like serrano peppers. They look like something else because they get a little thicker when they start actually growing up. You see one right here. Uh, right here you can see one and uh, they're everywhere they're these tiny little tiny little peppers I have no idea what kind they are if you guys could tell me that would be awesome here's another jalapeno pepper plant of mine just absolutely covered in jalapeno peppers pretty nuts um, just everywhere I look there's peppers on this plant and uh, a lot of the other plants are just covered in peppers so uh, yeah, let's move on to the habaneros. Look at all these habaneros. They're all orange habaneros. Um, as you guys can see, there's tons of these little ones right here. And if you look back even further, you can see even more. And they're everywhere. They're they're all um they all they're all gonna be relatively small. But um, I mean I'm just loaded with these guys here. I'll show you right over here. Absolutely loaded. Habaneros. Habaneros back there. Let's see if I can zoom that in for you guys. There's habaneros everywhere. Absolutely loaded on this plant finally. <clears throat> this here is my butch tea plant. Here we got one little guy growing right there. We got tons of flowers on this thing. Um, some more butch teas. Let's see right down here. One more down there. Um, bring you guys over here. Some more growing right here. This thing's just getting absolutely loaded with peppers. So if I lift up these leaves right here, you guys can see two couple butch teas right here. I'm pretty sure they're butch teas. Um, unless if they have that odd looking shape at the end. Um, they don't really have one of those scorpion tail looking things. But uh, if they're not a butch tea, then they're definitely a maruga. Either way, they're a scorpion pepper. I don't even think I've shown you guys this yet, but uh, I've been growing this cauliflower for my mom. She really enjoys cauliflower. And so I decided to grow her cauliflower plant about a month ago, and I've been hiding it from you guys. And uh, as you can see, tons of awesome growth on this guy. And when you look at cauliflower, It'll actually start forming the cauliflower in the center. It hasn't done that yet, but uh, I'm hoping that'll be fairly soon. This is a good sized cauliflower plant and it uh, looks really, really healthy. Got some awesome water droplets right there. So yeah, this is a cauliflower plant. Ray, this would be your cherry tomato plant. Um, I gotta get it in a cage because it likes to tip over. Um, but it's overall a very healthy plant. And if you guys look over here, I have my cherry tomato plant as well, the one that I started originally. And uh, as you can see, it's a bit yellow. I'm not too worried about it though, because I'm still getting tons and tons of cherry tomatoes off this thing. I'm pulling ripe ones off every day. And as you can see, I got to pull off a few more. Um, it's a really nice looking plant. I don't, I don't really care that it's yellow. I know that it's probably dying, and uh, that's not a problem to me because I'm going to be going to college in two and a half weeks and so um, having something like this occur it's not a problem for me. 
Can you guys tell me what kind of plant this is? It's a kiwi plant. I bought a I bought a kiwi at Super One Foods in my area. Um, just felt like buying a kiwi and taking out the seeds and attempting to sprout them. Um, I heard that if you re refrigerate something for more than four weeks, the seeds can actually die. And so I wanted to buy a kiwi and see if I could actually sprout it. And I did. And uh, so here's a kiwi plant. Um, and I'm hoping to see some growth out of this. I'm planning on bringing it to my dorms in college and just growing it for you guys. Mike? This is your chocolate habanero plant. I cut off all of the bottom leaves because I wanted to give it kind of a bonsai tree look. And uh, as you can see, unbelievably healthy. And um, I have had tons of flowers on this thing, but I've been plucking them off just so I can promote more plant growth. Um, I actually have to keep this thing on the side of my on the side of my lights because. Um, it's getting too tall for the lights, and I don't know how to make them taller yet. I'm going to probably get to that either today or tomorrow. So this is your plant. It's unbelievably healthy. It's probably one of my favorite plants I've grown ever. Um, and I can't thank you enough for the seeds because I've really enjoyed growing this. Ray, this would be the lemon tree that you gave me. Um, as you can see, it's grown a little bit. It's a it's a tree, so it's going to grow slower. Um, got this leaf. and right here and it's kind of curling but uh, I don't think that's a problem I don't know as much about lemon trees as I probably should but uh, I'm just kind of winging it with this guy he looks pretty healthy for the most part his leaves are nice and green and um, I'll just I'm gonna be bringing this to my dorm as well and growing it in there because I know it's a slow grower and I know it's not gonna get really big on me thanks a lot for watching today guys um I'm only going to be making one more summer update video for this entire season. Um, and from there, my mom's actually going to be taking over my garden because I'm moving to Duluth, Minnesota, which is an hour and a half west of me. Um, I'm going to college there, and I won't be near my garden. And I'm also going to be living in the dorms, so I don't know how much gardening I'm actually going to be able to do. I'm going to have a kiwi plant in my dorms, and I'm also going to be having a lemon tree plant. And then I also have seeds for dragon fruit, if you guys know what dragon fruit is. Um, it's actually a cactus type plant. But um, I want to have those three plants in my dorm. But um, as far as this channel, I'm really only going to make one more video for this entire season. I know it's really kind of upsetting for me and maybe you guys. But um, I'm only going to be making one more video and that's going to be in two weeks before I leave for college. I plan, I plan on making a new channel just for you guys to watch it. Um, it's going to be me, and I'll, I'll explain it in my next video, my last video, and I'll give you guys the name of it. I'll give you guys a link so you can go to it and subscribe and watch me. Um, it's basically just going to be me doing my daily routine. Um, it has nothing to do with gardening, but um, if you guys feel like getting involved in my life and uh, just like watching what I do, I actually I do a lot more stuff besides gardening. Uh, gardening is actually pretty slim compared to what I do. Um, you know, I golf a lot. I, uh, I used to skydive, and I still am hoping to skydive in the future. I like to take tons of road trips, so um, I'm hoping to get those on film as well. And I plan on making tons of friends in college, and I'm hoping I can just, you know, make a quick vlog with my videos, or with my phone, and uh, put them up on my new vlog channel that I'll be making in the future for you guys. So if you guys want to keep in touch with me while I'm not gardening, that would be amazing. Um, so anyways, thanks a lot again for watching, guys. I've really appreciated it in these past six and seven months. Um, and I guess that's really all i got to tell you guys. And you guys keep gardening. Um, unfortunately, I have to cut it short because I'm going to college. So uh, thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in two weeks. Bye.